Walking Awake is now released, and in this video, we will be team building with it. We're gonna craft something sinister, something that should destroy each and every opponent it encounters. So, welcome to the channel if you're new, and if you're rejoining me as a regular subscriber, welcome. And you know, it's been a minute since I've done a, a team building with Jam, so let's hop right into it. Walking Wake, right? And so, again, for those who may be newer, when you're team building, there are a couple of things. There are really four to five steps that you have to go through to get an excellent team by the end of it. So first step is to define the objective. Right? Why are you building this team? Is it because you want to build around a particular play style, a particular Pokemon, uh, a particular field condition in the case of rain? Uh, play style would be more like, is it offense, balance, stall? You know. Um, so in this case, we're building around a particular Pokemon, which is Walking Wake. This is the new Suicune uh, past form that was released. What if they have a Suicune future as well? Uh, it's called Iron, because you know it's going to be Iron. Iron Water. But yeah, so Walking Wake is here. We're going to be using the choice specs, and we're going to be abusing the Protosynthesis. Uh, okay, it's 1.5 of speed. I didn't remember that distinction. That's that's actually useful. Uh, I think I I think I calc it like 1.5 in my head, but I didn't uh, actually like think it through consciously. So walk and wake is here, and we're going to be keeping things simple because I want you guys to just load up a team and be able to click buttons and have a good time. And so I do structure these team builders <clears throat> with the context of assuming my viewers are gonna watch are gonna use the team. And I know people are going to be of all different skill sets, so we want to build, uh, or at least I want to build something that can uh, simple enough to use. Any more complicated variants, like some kind of sub something, would just I think be too complicated for potentially some newer players. So we're going to keep things simply. Just click strong moves, and you kill things. That's how this is going to function. Now, the question is: so well, now that we've step one, defined your objective. Step two, what is something or what are some Pokemon that prevent my uh, waking, walking wake from taking a lot of value, from doing a lot of damage? What walls me, in other words? So from a natural standpoint of stab, those are going to be things like, let's say, I could see Assault Fist, Azumarill uh, going up in usage. That's a natural counter uh, because of its typing. It is immune to um, <clears throat> the dragon moves. And I can easily take the uh, water move. So perhaps I can see Amoongus, uh, I mean, Azumarill rising in usage. Uh, Cloud Zire is something that could come in. Water Absorb, Cloud Zire. Obviously, if it's not Water Absorb, it's getting decimated. But it's, so it has to be Water Absorb, which takes away the, the Hydro Stream and Hydro Pump if it's outside of Sun, because you don't have to use it in Sun. Um, and then the only other thing you'd have would be Draco Meteor, and then, you know, that won't to a kill Cloud Zire, I don't think. Unless it's Terra Dragon. I could see Terra Dragon uh, coming about to kind of account for Cloud Zire. But uh, Cloud Zire is something that could be challenging. So we have Azumarill and Cloud Zire thus far. Um, I wouldn't say Dondozo. Because you know, of his unaware ability, Draco's still destroying him. Um, I could see a Spadef Garganical, perhaps. But that's not super reliable. Uh, so as far as just straight up comfortable switch-ins, Toxapex could be one. I could see Toxapex taking two Dracos if it's invest fully in special defense. So there are really three Pokemon, and all three are water types. If I recall correctly, it was the well, no no Clawzai has water immunity. So it's really a Zumaril, which again is probably not going to be seen as much. It's really Clawzai and Toxapex. Maybe more so Toxapex, and then you're going to see, call, I'm calling it here, you're going to see Terra Grass, Tinglu um, come about. But, yeah, so, well, mm, Grass, yeah, Grass is the only type that, because obviously he gets Flamethrower as well. Grass is the only type that is, that resists water, that isn't weak to Dragon, I think. What was it? I guess it could be Terra Water. Terra Water is probably better. Terra Water Tingle was coming about. So, he heard it here first. He heard it here first, folks. There we go. Terra Water Tingle 
come into a team near you okay so yeah uh that's pretty much it so the question then is okay what what teammates can we use and walking weight can muscle through those itself but um i'm wondering if i should use terra water or terra dragon i could see a case for both but we'll keep terra water for now to make those hydro steams dumb dumb uh the downside obviously of committing to waking walking wake in sun is that the sun will always be won't always be up so otherwise you're just using like the equivalent like a spec shadow ball which is still good um, still good but uh it relies on sun now the beauty of it is that it gets boosted it's the only move in the game that gets boosted unless it's weather ball or something but only move in the game that gets boosted by two weathers so typically in weather wars rain can switch into sun to neutralize it and, and sun can switch into rain, sun can switch well, not usually switch fire types into it but can switch things to or change the weather to weaken water moves but hydro steam doesn't give a damn whether you're in the rain it gets powered up whether you're in the sun it gets powered up so very cool stuff there i really like that mechanic um time for kyogre to get that yeah, let's, let's see what you got now, Groudon. But uh, yeah, so very, very cool there. Um, what else are we looking at? Okay, yeah. So now the question, and now we identified what stops it, and we're we're not even factoring the protosynthesis. I actually completely blanked on the fact you're getting choice specs and protosynthesis. So Clodzire is no counter. Uh, I think protosynthesis goes to unaware, but it have to be um, water absorb obviously. So Clodzire is no counter. Actually. Unless you're, a, yeah, unless you are a Assault Vest Azumarill <laughs> or a Terra Water Tinglu, it's even then, you know, in the sun. The sun variant of this is definite. Ch sun plus specs of this is the most deadly. Um, I'm going to enjoy clicking moves with it. So I spent a lot of time going over Walking Wake for two reasons. It's the Pokemon we're building around. And we had to go through what checks it. Now, the second thing is going to be the support. So... You want to go with the you want to the next mon on the team is going to be the non-negotiable, right? Certain Pokemon have non-negotiable Pokemon or teammates. So Walking Wake, since we're abusing Protosynthesis, Sun has to be on the team. So before I put anything else, I have to put the Torkoal on, so that I know that I'm building around supporting Walking Wake and Torkoal, two mods that typically cannot switch into things. Well, another beautiful thing about Walking Wake is its typing. So Rain likes to spam Water moves. Uh, one of the more common rain abusers is Float Slew with its Choice Bandit um, Wave Crash. But because of this thing's typing, uh, uh, Dragon in a, and its great defenses and HP, uh, the Wave Crash, it can naturally support Sun because Sun usually struggles with having a, a water switch in. And so it can naturally support sun and immediately threaten it back with the very thing it was threatening it with you won't have the protosynthesis boost but Flossil does not want any smoke with this guy nothing on rain unless again it's going to run av azu and even then the hydro steams aren't going to be fun to take no one wants smoke with this guy this thing does get hurricane but i don't think uh, on sun you're going to be seeing hurricane but yeah nobody wants smoke with this guy so uh, that's pretty much um, what I wanted to point it out as far as that's concerned. Torkoal is going to be fairly standard, max HP, max defense. Um, with Stealth Rock Trap, it's been Lava Plume and Yawn. Uh, it could opt to get rid of Rapid Spin and put Rest. I'll play with that and see because you have a Great Tusk, which you're going to see next, which can you know cover the Rapid Spin components. So. Uh, and Torkoal is just not that reliable of a rapid spinner. So since sun is so important, it might be better to just prioritize having health than um, than um, trying to rapid spin, especially since it's weak to hazards, right? So uh, that's something. Uh, as far as the Terra type, um, I'd say flying is what I'm feeling. Flying is only weak to electric and ice and rock too, I guess, but it's already weak to rock. There are a couple of terras you could use for this. Um, typically, you're not going to leave Torkoal in versus a fire a water type, but their water moves are already 
weekend. Uh, but it's going to come face to face with situations where it's staring down a great tusk. And if it's a great tusk that is protosynthesis boosting and it's plus attack, then a Terra flying might be the only thing that can save you. Can hit him with a yawn, hit him with a, um, a lava plume, whatever you want to do at that point. Uh, so I think flying is going to work the best here. So pretty simple there. Secondly, thirdly is going to be Great Tusk. Now, what's Great Tusk for? Great Tusk is there. One, it abuses the Protosynthesis boost. Uh, but it also helps we, help, helps us with better hazard control. Remember, Sun's biggest problem is hazard control. Right? It just cannot switch in. And Torco is the only Sun user. And so Torco is just not as great on switching in as, say, Pelipper. And I believe Polytoad might be in the game. But it's just not great at it. So... Uh, you you want to have some secondary support because if Torkoal is your primary hazard control, which is why a lot of times you'll see Hatterene on Sun because Hatterene's magic, magic bounce discourages it. So we're going to have Great Tusk as our support since it's another Prolosynthesis user. Um, and the beautiful thing about this is that since I'm getting defense boost many times by the Sun, um, I can afford to pump a bit more in speed. And so. I put enough speed to wear it out speed, Cinderace, Roaring Moon, and um, Iron Valiant after a rapid spin um, to get to, well, I, mean, I probably could put enough for like a Greninja. Let me run that count. So since the defense is, is it's nice, but I don't think is, is as important as being able to outspeed something like a Miascarada or a Greninja. Uh, what I end up doing is take out a lot of defense and pump it into speed. I think 253 puts us, yeah, I have an actual calculator out here, uh, 253 puts, uh, I think it still might be one below Miyarskarada, I've never had to calc this before, Miyarskarada has a very interesting speed tier, it's a speed tie, yeah. so 254, um, so that puts us at 351, or 350, yeah, I probably could take out some of the HP, but, um, you know, I'll use that for the spit F. May change this from water to something else. Considering if we're in a situation where we're having to deal with a Miyarskarada, our Terra type won't help us here. Because uh, that would be the point about speeding it, right? So that we can bulk up and sit up on it. Oftentimes, Miyarskarada likes to come in and uh, uh, because it can flower trick, it doesn't have to worry about. But this allows you to, uh, upon rapid spinning, uh, outspeed, outspeed. Um, Greninjas, and you're definitely going to be significantly faster than opposing Great Tusk. Uh, you can outspeed Cinderace, you can outspeed um, so um, perhaps Fire makes sense here. We'll see. I'll, um, I can see a case for both. Um, we'll try Fire for now. We'll, we'll, we'll give Fire a shot for now because I can see the Miyarskarada uh, situation. I don't like. Fire and water, uh, sometimes you want fire, sometimes you want water. Um, um, well, I'm going I'm to put water for now. I'm going to put water. If I see how many I screw out, I'll play. Um, or get it to the point where by the time I rapid spin, uh, it dies to earthquake. But um, I can see different cases where I might want both. So we'll leave that water for now. And if through playing, because oh, playing is what when a team is really really carved and so we have the the preliminary like sort of mandatory mods right why is great tusk here you want to be able to control the hazards great tusk some people again opt for hatterene as a control or you know um, iron threads even though i don't know why you'd use iron threads that's just an inferior great tusk uh, man the great tusk has the benefit of being on sun like it's literally abilities benefits from sun so um amongst other reasons but yeah so that, that is an option, but um, yeah. So that's one. Uh, so now we're getting into the the more tailored components. So wh why, yeah, why is Miyarskarada here? Well, Walking Wake, if we look at the Pokemon we listed, Clodzire, Zumaril, Toxapex, which aren't even counters. They don't like hazards, specifically rocks and spikes. And so Miyarskarada is here for two reasons, it, it spikes, and the common things that like to come in on Miyarskarada are Amoongus, Walking Wake food, Corviknight, which is Walking Wake food, um, 
sometimes old Corona, but but King's Gambit, Walking Wake Food, and that's pretty much as far as like the, the solid switchings. Pex to a degree, but but less so. And Pex doesn't like get, getting his item knocked off. And so a lot of the mons that people typically switch in to this are walking wake foods. So you can U-turn out and oftentimes just get a free switch into sun boosted walking wake. And it's just devouring. So it's more about because I was looking at this and I'm like, mm, the sun walking wake needs free switchings, right? It doesn't want to switch into things. It wants to get the switch initiative into things. There are other ways we could have gone about it. I could have I double down on something like a Cinderace, which supports the walking wake switchings. Um, I could have opted for a volt switch user or just W turn. There are mods that could do it. Uh, but for now, we're going to work with this because this is just a rough draft. So remember, step one to find the objective. Step two, what's in its way, right? And so step three is what we're doing right now, which is finding common strategies or Pokemon or, you know, move sets, whatever to support and remove the obstacles to our objective which is in in, in, English, in English that means what do we need to do to make sure walking wake is doing hella damage every time it comes in so that's where Miar Scarada comes in it's annoying as hell and it baits in exactly what we wanted to bake in and 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 it supports with spikes and it's also very good versus things that usually give sun trouble Right, rain for one. Rain does not like me, Arscarada. Um, and we're using heavy duty boots. Yeah, you could play around with that. Uh, find heavy duty boots to be more consistent, but you could opt for a focus sash. Uh, there are cases for that. Um, lastly, so we're like, okay, well, I, I could have gone a couple directions with this. If you notice, this is more like nothing else up to this point has really been a, a wall. But you don't want to double down so much into trying to win the game with the with the um, walking wake that you open yourself you open yourself up to common Pokemon. So uh, rain, you need to actually be able to switch into um, rain Pokemon. Uh, Volcarona is something that will chew on sun a lot of times. Um, Don Dozo. <clears throat> Though we have Miascarada and we have Walking Wake. So Walking Wake and Sun is going to crush Don Dozo. In fact, especially because it has the typing for it. So Don Dozo has no business um, talking to Walking Wake. Uh, but Toxapex is primarily as a mid-ground for Sun, sun Annoying Mons. Garganical, uh, Garganical Rain, Garganical Rain, uh, Volcarona. Um, there was something else. It might have been Skeledurge. Skeledurge can be annoying. Depending on what the Skeledurge set is, it can be. But remember, primarily because Walking Wake is not switching into things. Um, backs can be annoying as well. Uh, because backs, not typically, you're not, like, Sun doesn't have things that like switching into backs. And backs can sometimes abuse the, um, the ability it has when it gets hit by fire moves. Um, Terror Dragon and just eviscerate your team. Um, so Toxapex is somewhat of a glue uh, for the common things that could potentially give you trouble. Iron Moth is another one, right? And so Pex, Spadef, uh, fairly simple. And it also helps you with opposing Walking Wake. Helps, keyword there. Now, one downside of this particular team structure is obviously that it lacks um, a dragon resist or immunity. Uh, this could go a couple different ways. This Pex could be Terra Fairy. Uh, I think I'll make a case for Terra Fairy in this one. Um, because of that, what we just described. Uh, and I don't have any Steel types on this team. So we're, we're out for Terra Fairy. I put Terra Dark because uh, I know, I know that Volcarona has been using a lot of things like Psychic and and terra ground and things of that nature uh to muscle pass pecs and so uh, well, you know dark would cover everything as far as a neutral but so would fairy i uh, wouldn't they would likely not go for the fire move to turn you terra fairy so i think that covers it and helps with walking wake if you need that fairy typing in a pinch 
um, especially because the the move can't burn you. It's not scald. It just gets the boost. So Pex is just a glue, right? You don't want to leverage so much. Or you don't want to over leverage on the offense and just get whacked. So before you can even beat the opponent, you're getting crushed. So that could be a major team flaw. Lastly, I just slapped Dragonite on here, truth be told to you. There could have been several different options here. I could have opted for a Dragapult. Um, part of the reason was that I wanted... Uh, I like having... This is just a personal preference. It's not mandatory, especially not in this metagame. I like to have a Dragon Immunity if I can afford it. I mean Dragon Immunity. Is a, a ground immunity if I can afford to, and I was like, oh, Pult would Pult also baits and walking wake things. Um, I could have went with Rotom, but Rotom in the sun, it's still not inconceivable because Rotom can function really well with just Wolf Switch and Will O Wisp. Um, but I decided I'll add a sweeper sweeper. I don't have a setup sweeper. And Dragonite is tried and true. Uh, there are a couple ways you could go about skinning this cat. You could put Fire Punch on there and just blast through Corviknights in the sun. Um, but it's again, Corviknights walking wake food. So kind of want to encourage Corviknights to switch in, if anything. Uh, but it's just standard D Knight. Um, I always run enough speed to outspeed uh, Cinderace. Uh, I just like not having because extreme speed doesn't kill. And so sometimes I don't want to have to Terra. Which means if I don't outspeed Cinderace, it's going to go for the whatever it wants to go for. And I'm not gonna knock it out. And Valiant. I think I think the slow variants I see don't even outspeed Valiant. So they have to bang. Like I don't like to I said this several times, you know, to rather not take the hit and get the kill than have enough some quirky E V spread to where I can take the hit and get the kill but now i'm like at half health right so i'd rather sacrifice the the minuscule bolt that i'm losing uh to ensure i go first um some people go all the way to jolly so they can outspeed gyropult after plus one that's preference but uh it's a standard d9 and that's pretty much the team um d9 is a sweeper sweeper whereas the others are more i'm just gonna come in and pound um another thing is that great tusk and d9 have great synergy in that I have two knockoff users, right? Two knockoff users that that um, Rotom Rotom hates getting inside and removed because Rotom needs to be healthy and, and happy for for uh, Dragonite, and Stall does not like their item removed, so I don't like to spam heavy duty boots on everything, um, and so things like Don Dozo. Once those um, boots start to go and the spikes start to rack up, you're just getting waked by the walking, you know. So. I managed to keep this one brief and sexy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button down below. People need to know. Y'all killed that Greninja when Greninja came out. We got almost 8,000 views on that video. Easily. the Probably the highest viewed video of the year. Um, and it was a team building video. And so many people got value from that. So if you made it this far, guys. I, I, I'm asking. If you made it this far, there's literally no reason. Unless you just didn't like how I did the video. In which case, comment and let me know what you didn't like and uh you know how can this be enhanced don't mind that but if you did make it this far there's literally no reason not to so do that for me i thank you and um we're gonna upload a live so if you're new to the channel subscribe and i'll see you very soon peace